Hi everyone. I'm sorry I have to be gone again today. My son got sick at daycare, so I needed to leave and go get him. And hopefully I will be back tomorrow. But um, if not, um, we'll just keep on keeping on and I'll leave you another amazing video to show you what we're doing. We are getting ready to start a new project. It's called Scurfito Drape Mold Plates. So let's go through and see what it is. Okay, so we're thinking about for this project, how can artists create strong contrast as a way to make their work interesting? How do artists use positive and negative space to create interesting compositions? And how can line quality create visual interest? So those are the things we're gonna be focusing on for this. Okay, so Scraffito is a form of decoration made by scratching through a surface to reveal a lower layer of contrasting color. So it's typically done in plaster or stucco on walls or it with slip and underglaze on ceramics. So we're going to be using underglaze for this project. And so as you can see, there's a couple of examples of what Scraffito looks like. So we're going to be rolling out slabs on the slab roller for this. So um, this is a slab project. And um, as you can see, these are two different clay bodies. So depending on the type of clay body you're using will kind of depend on the um, color effect you get. We're using our white stoneware, so we'll have um, the white um, as our uh, contrast with whatever color underglaze you end up using. Okay, there's a little video um, that you can watch. Um, I don't know if it'll play on this. Ooh, let's watch it. It's short. These pots, they're my own little cultural expression. It's like a, it's like having your own little mini culture. It's mat land. <laughs> sometimes the drawings are beautiful and sometimes they have a slight unsettling quality. I like that tension. But they really need to serve the pots, the, the, the volume of the pot. The, the intention of the pod. It's not a primary narrative where I'm telling a story. It's the enmeshment between the drawing and the decoration and the form of the pod. I'm interested in just our understanding that we're linked with nature. It's not that there's nature out here and we're over there. It's a unified whole. So I think that that notion and what that does to the way we think about ourselves is, is really interesting to me. Okay, so you can see it's a two color kind of contrast. We're really focusing on the contrast. Okay. There we go. Okay, so there's some other artists work that I have in here to show you Scraffito. Um, if you've ever done scratch board or scratch art, this is the kind of um, idea is that you have um, a color on top and when you scratch away, the, color, the underneath color reveals itself. So um, these are some contemporary artists work that um, do Scraffito. So when we do slab molds, um, you can do what's called a slump mold. So this is where you allow the clay to slump down inside. Um, and there's different ways you can do it with plaster or you can use that foam core insulation, um, cardboard, um, and other forms like a plastic plate. We are going to do a drape mold. So this is where we're going to roll out the slab and then allow it to drape on top of a mold. And we are going to be using plates. So for your project, we're creating a slab plate using the drape mold method. You're going to attach a foot to the bottom of the plate and you're going to use Scraffito to decorate the plate surface. And you're creating a successful design by balancing positive and negative space using a variety of line qualities. Okay, so when we talk about positive and negative space, so you can see the fish, positive space is the thing that we're looking at, is the object. And then the negative space is all the stuff around it, right? So in this case, we have the fish are the positive space, the little kind of scaly design is the negative space. And the image on the right, um, it's kind of um, inner, you know, the designs are kind of um, like kind of challenging our idea of positive and negative space. It's a little bit difficult to see, but really you want to think of a nice balance between your two colors, your, um, your underglaze color, which for a lot of us use black for this project, and then the color of the clay, the white. 
Um, you do not have to use black for this project. We're not going to talk about color so much today, um, but you can be thinking about it. I do have some colors of underglaze. Um, so um, black is the highest contrast of that nice white and black contrast, but I do have some colors that you can use instead. You do not have to do this graffito all over the entire surface of the plate. Um, you could focus on the rim. You could focus on just one section as long as it's a complex enough design that shows, you know, that you understand the concepts and you meet the nice balance of positive and negative space or, you know, um, a nice black and white balance. Okay, and then we'll talk about um, adding a foot later. You, most of you have done at least one foot so far on your um, pinch pot, so um, we'll get into what the foot's going to look like later. Okay, so today you're starting on your design, and I'll go over that here in a second. Tomorrow we'll roll out the slab um, and kind of work on this all through next week. Okay, so for the rest of today, you're going to research and sketch ideas for your plate um, in your sketchbook, and you can start making your design template, um, working on your scraffito. If um, you need to finish up glazing something, you can. I'm going to ask that you not start a whole new glazing project. Um, at, because we have some time coming up before spring break that we can be getting um, things glazed. So um, if you just need to finish painting the thing, that's fine, but then don't start glazing something new um, today. Um, start on your Scraffito project. Okay, so for ideas, if you get your Chromebook out, you can look up Scraffito, just the word Scraffito. You can re look up relief prints because that's a nice contrast of um, black and white usually um, and positive and negative space ideas to get some designs. Okay, so let's talk about what to do um, here. So I don't know. I don't know if I can make myself bigger. Anyway, okay, so here's an example, and here's an example. Um, up on the table, you have um, two options for plates. You have a round plate, you have an oval plate. You pick which template you want. There's um, paper up there that you can lay the plate on and trace around it so you get the shape, all right? So you want a, either the oval shape or the, um, the round shape, and then you can start drawing your design on there. Um, one of the things to keep in mind is that your plate, when, before we start this graffito, your plate will be all black and then, or whatever color you use, but let's say right now, just think black. Um, and then you're going to be scratching away. So whatever you scratch away is going to be the white. So for some people, like on this plate, right, my plate is mostly black with white leaves. And if it is easier for your brain to make sense of it, if you want to draw your design on black construction paper and get a white colored pencil, you can do that. That might make more sense to your brain to kind of truly see what it's going to look like because I knew I was going to have a mostly black surface and have white on it. Um, other, I've also done it on just regular paper with a pencil and I just like filled in what I wanted to stay black and right and left the paper white. So it does doesn't matter which way you do it. I just was trying to help your brain and hopefully <laughs> I haven't confused you. If I did confuse you, just draw your design on white paper and we'll get, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Um, so you're um, drawing your design on here. You know, um, you're going to be able to take this, this design and transfer it right to your clay. So things should be drawn out exactly like how you want them. Um, and um, it doesn't have to be completed today. You want to start it. Um, you can be thinking about, do I want to have a solid color for a rim and then design the plate? Do I want something around the rim? Like, what do you want it to look like? There's lots and the ideas are endless. You know, you can have words. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, but you want to be thinking, um, you know, different thicknesses of lines. You want to be thinking having some areas white, some areas be black. Um, Okay. If you have questions, feel free to email me. I'll be around. Um, and hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, awesome. Don't forget to do your studio job at the end of the day. And um, as always, ask Jason if you have questions and I'll see you soon. Bye.